I living in Boulder vlog for May 27th, 2020, Wednesday, 2.56 p.m. Um, it's interesting, we've had like a long day, a long year of uh, cold and raininess, I like it. So, um, I think uh, yesterday was my first day where I started uh, linking images. I need to go and ask the person. I asked uh, Anthony Payne where I got the, the YouTube channel, where I got the um, screen captured it, and then he didn't answer me. But then I went back to the video, and now he puts on all of his videos where he got his images from. So I went to some Japanese person. So I'm going to write the Japanese person soon, but... I've been posting, I think, you can check it out. I even uploaded all of it on my website. Um, unfortunately, the pages are too wide because when I pasted the text from Wikipedia on there, it just made all the columns way too wide, so it doesn't really look right. But you can see the images on there uh, of all of my ancient history pages uh, where the dinosaurs are. So that's what I'm, I'm doing today. Uh, and I found the most awesomest YouTube channel. You got to check this one out. And the homeboy don't only got how many subscribers does he have? He only got eight point two nine thousand subscribers. I think he's new. He's called Moth Light Media. Moth Light Media, and he does a little yeah, like uh, it's tales of evolution of all the different animals with the illustrations and stuff, and it's. Uh, it's good stuff, man. Um, super fascinating. I'm here like, what? What's that animal? Ancient mammals. Well, yeah. Um, dude, like the most interest. I think the most interesting and thing that you could learn is uh, ancient history because evolution and all the different animals and how they live. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Woo. So, um, yeah, man, like. I'm surprised, like, I didn't study this stuff before, but, I mean, now the quality of learning it is so good. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm pasting uh, images of the animals there. I set them to 40 pixels high, and they're usually shaped um, rectangularly, so... And then I'm going to go and do the habitat because, and so then you'll see an image of the habitat and then the animal and how big they are, what they look like and how big they are right next to each other. Um, super more, a lot more con time consuming than like if I had just taken it off of the Anthony Payne place and done like how do you do where he superimposed it and made it extra big. Maybe if I had done it again, I would have done that way, but. The thing is, and I've explained this in a bunch of my other videos, it might be like, if you crop the image around the size of the animal and the person or the animal, then when you look at all the images together, little icons together, it gives you a really consistent uh, image of um, the sizes of the animals relative to each other. So I think it's better my way. But uh, even though the other way is clever. But, uh, for it's for what it is. <sighs> um, so, um, uh, yeah, and I'm having to kind of recrop a few of them because they were name drawing, but, um, yeah, just adding them and, uh, it's going to take a while because I'm only on Dinosaurs 10. I'm like halfway through Dinosaurs 10 out of 11. But then there's a bunch of other animals after that, so. But I think I only started yesterday, so. Um, and then after I do these, you know, I have to do the, I have to crop and then do the, the actual habitat. So run through it again, 1930. And then after that is when I'm going to. Um, <laughs> size it so that it fits the screen again. Even if I have to retype everything. Um, so I'd be like, it'd be like edit slash retyping, but, uh, and then once you can see it, I'll look at it, look what it looks like with the animals on there. And then, uh, that's when I divide it up. It'll be really big and long. 
cumbersome. That's where I, I divide it. I just cut out, you know, drag and drop into the proper locations because I've already organized it. I just, I haven't organized it and placed it on the tops of the actual page, but I made a separate page where I decided how I was going to organize all of it. So, and when I drag them on there, that's going to be interesting because I get to, I get to, um, decide how I'm going to differentiate all of the different, uh, clades, um, the different categories, you know, you have the, the, what is it? The nine different levels. It's, uh, life, kingdom, um, phylum, uh, genera, species, um, I mean, order, phylum order, but, um, and then you have subs of those. Um, so, uh, how are good? Mm, gonna use my little tools shed, my little bag of tricks to, yeah, show the different ones. You know, I already have a different organized in the different ones, but the ones inside of the different categories. Uh, you know, I have like, I could give it different backgrounds. I could put, um, I could put uh, border fonts on the inside. I can put them around the, the, the main border uh, and then the t uh, fonts of the text. And yeah, we'll just see. It'll be interesting. I mean, if I can make it look really good. If I can make it look really good, then um, it's going to be amazing. So uh, the timeline of all that is, uh, uh, yeah, it's going to take a few more days. Like, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Okay, it's the rest of the day, dude. I mean, rest of the week. At least rest of the week for week six I'm counting the weeks for week six it's adding these images and um, I won't done be done with I don't think I'll be done with the uh, the planets by then but I mean I mean the habitat but I'll probably be close so that'll basically be that and then I'll put the other animals in from these other ones I got um, the other illustration I like the ones that have the size of the animals and I'll ask them <laughs> And then, you know, after I organize it all, um, all of the different Wikipedia ones that I don't have images, <laughs> images of the animal with the human next to it, then I'll use that for my timeline. I'll lift it off Wikipedia. A lot of those have it. So, um, but they're not as good as the one I'm using because they're just like black. They're not the actual illustration. This illustration I'm using is really good. It's Japanese too. So, um, yesterday I went on a, um, so yeah, tomorrow, yeah, I'll just be still doing that. Um, but yeah, this one's, this guy's really interesting. I'm gobbling it up and this is total stoner stuff too. I love getting high and listening to this cause you're just like, what? But, um, and also the, uh, the, the ones, there was this other channel. Damn. What was the other channel I was listening to? But the uh, undersea like wildlife documentaries. Oh my God. Those are so fascinating. Cause then you film them, but I wasn't really watching them. I want to watch them. To see the animals live. I'll do that when I'm training and I'm really tired and I'm just laying in bed. I'll be like, oh, now's the time to watch the underground, um, you know, uh, sea life, you know, an animal life documentary where you can actually see them. But you think you're going get a little high. But uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, yesterday I went on a bike ride with my mom and then today, uh, but we went on her route, the one that she was familiar with. Today I found, I found out about another one. <laughs> put a bike path along the sea tra tra train tracks over there so in Belmont and from Belmont to Pearl so um, I want to do that one today but she said to come over at six so yeah I'm gonna get back to work now and uh, tomorrow when I do my video I'll be hopefully done yeah with these images of the animal sizes and then I'll be working on the habitat yeah that'll be done by the end of the week all right ciao